Storms like this one roll through the Sierra. Sometimes it creates the perfect conditions to hang 10 on Tahoe. That's right. It's pretty cool <laughs> stuff, but the winds have to be just right. Ryan Canada spoke to one man who's part of a growing community of surfers who shred Tahoe's shores. Jumping off the pier right down the right down the way here. Brendan Legassi is no stranger to adventure. Working that trip in Antarctica, that was my fourth time. And that wild side stays true to this outdoorsman even when he's home in the Sierra. Because when the winds are strong and blowing in the right direction, he'll slide into his wetsuit, hop into Tahoe, and grab some gnarly waves. There's a lot of surfers. And uh, on any given day when, when it's firing out there, you'll see people all around um, surfing different places around the lake. But Legassi says surfing in Tahoe is a particular activity that can only happen in severe weather. In his decade of surfing the lake, even he's experienced a fair share of busts. There's times where we've been like, oh, there's not going to be any waves, and you show up and there's a bunch of waves. And there's other times where I'm like, can't wait, today's going to be a great day, and you show up and you're just like, you know, you look like that guy because you're standing there at Lake Tahoe with your board <laughs> ready to go surf, and there's like little ripples. The waves here in Tahoe Vista may look impressive to most people, but as the pros will tell you, there's a reason there's no surfers out here today. It's because the winds just aren't quite strong enough. South southwesterly winds, uh, 40 plus miles an hour, uh, ideally for a couple hours or more. Those kind of conditions would be ideal for Legassi and just about any other longtime surfer. However, that doesn't mean that everyone should start jumping into Tahoe's cold waters to catch the surf. Big waves and wind and um crazy um, weather systems coming in. Um, it's, it's something to, to take into consideration for sure. They need to, to know what they're doing and be safe out there. Um, this is not an activity that I, I recommend any surfer from um, you know, Southern California just go out and try. Covering the story from Lake Tahoe, Ryan Canada, Channel 2 News. In some of those pictures, yeah. I, I mean, it was shocking that that's Tahoe. Right, you know? for sure. And I know that there were some videos yesterday online showing yeah. waves that look like the Pacific Ocean or something like that. Yeah. So definitely cool to see. And hey, listen.